All the way from Indiana. I'm really glad that Indiana uh, gave us something good as opposed to what they normally give us. Despair. <laughs> oh, and, oh, God, I'm not. Jesus Christ, we're yeah, all going to be hitting the shit out of that tonight. I actually don't do that. I wish I was cool enough to it. All right, so drugs I don't do, and we are coming to the end of our comedy roster. Aww. Okay, I want you to sound sadder than that. We are coming to the end of our comedy roster. Oh, that's a bunch of bullshit. That's a total bunch of bullshit. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> well, we need a big round of applause for our last comedian of the night. So I want to start right now. Ladies and gentlemen, he is here for your amusement and for your laughter, Mr. Nathan Gibson! Nathan Gibson! Nathan Gibson! Nathan Gibson! Nathan Gibson! Nathan Gibson. Oh, thank you. I, I wish I voted for you more, Sanjaya, on American Idol. Um, my name is Nathan Gibson, uh, like, uh, black, uh, Kanye West, fat Kanye West, and drugged out Justin Bieber said. Um, and I want to give you a little piece of what Northwest Indiana feels like, or what kind of rhetoric goes around, and there's pens in the ground. So, we have a newspaper, obviously, and recently in the newspaper, we came across this article, and this is an actual opinion piece in what was called the Northwest Indiana Times. And someone felt that this was extremely important. So, I'd like to bring it to you guys. In the opinion piece, we should move the deer crossroads to where there's less traffic. A lot of deer get hit by cars west of Crown Point on US 231. There are way too many cars to have the deer cross in here. The cross side needs to be moved to a road where there's less traffic. Thank you, Tim, from Crown Point. All right, I'm from a place called Lake Station. Um, if you like Walgreens, maybe you've heard of it. Uh, in Lake Station, there's this place called Twice as Nice. And it's a resale shop, but they also sell the new like hair feathers that's going around, like it, all the girls are wearing them. And they have signs in the front has that sign, oh, we got the new hair feathers. And right next to it, almost looks like it's the same sign, it says, oh, we just came in with uh, pepper spray and tasers. Which is weird, because I feel like they're trying to say is, hey girls, you're gonna look so good, you should get the hair feathers, you're gonna look so good. How good are you gonna look? You're gonna look so good that people are going to try to rape you. But don't worry, we got the pepper spray. <laughs> I saw Blue, I was sta sitting up there when I saw Blue October play here, and like them, I'm also bombing. So, <laughs> let's see what's in here. I feel like I'm tanning right now. Oh, I saw Keith Evans perform earlier, and he got a really nice tan after <laughs> being up here, so. So, who's down with that Occupy Wall Street thing? Yeah! Like, I feel like, I actually kind of like the movement, but it's gonna, it's only a matter of time when people, like corporations, actually just exploit it. Like, we want to fight for democracy. We want to occupy democracy. We want to occupy the government. We also want to occupy great savings at Walmart. Show, show the corporations how to stick it when you buy poster board, boards at Walmart. Three for a dollar. Tell corporations like Walmart you suck by going to Walmart. I actually went to the Occupy Wall Street uh, 
actually occupy Chicago here on Sunday night. And I left about 12.45 because that's when the train left. And I was underneath the railway to get to Van Buren. And there was girls in front of me. And I, I understand they only saw me and they thought, big guy, we better run. And they were legitimately running. And I had that happen all the time. So what they, one of the things that I do is I actually start singing boy band music because I, inside my head, I think like, girls aren't going to think that someone's going to rape them when they're singing Backstreet Boys. But I feel like that's really going to backfire one day. Like, I'm singing that, and now I'm the last person they see, and then one of them gets murdered, and immediately it's going to be come back to me. I'll be labeled as the boy band assassin. Like, there's no way I'm not going to get raped when I'm the boy band assassin. I'll be in prison, the guy is going to come to me, and I'm like, no! He's like, sing for me, boy. And he finally catches me because Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen isn't really going to defend myself. And I'm going to be like, oh, I don't want to. He's going to sing it. Uh, it's tearing up my butt when I'm with you. <laughs> like he leaves me a former shell of a man I used to be. I'm on the crown crying. And he's like, I'll see you later, boy. Uh, or maybe as you would put it, bye, bye, bye. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I feel like my comedy is a lot like my lovemaking. Like, I start off all excited the first two minutes, I end up apologizing for the next five. <laughs> Thank you! Yes! I saw you were performing earlier. Yes, I'm going to go beyond the lights. I saw you performing, and I was thinking, like, I, I don't know if you know this, but I actually have a time machine, and I'm actually going to go to the 90s, because Honestly, the 90s was the hottest period ever, and I'm going to hit on girls through 90s rap. Would you like to hear a 90s rap? Yeah. I'm not going until she says, Do, would you like a 90s rap? Yeah, yeah well, she said yes. So let me, let me uh, warm up. <laughs> 